this 1940 Seattle Road? Yes. Uh, the owners are trying to sell the place, so y'all better go back to wherever it is you came from. Owners? Yeah. No, there must be some kind of mistake. She just inherited the place. My bad. Well, uh, I have to go check back at the office. Yeah, you do that. Have yourself a nice day. The world is what it is. It just is. Come in. father used to say, everything has been figured out, except how to live. He wasn't dumb. Now you can be a part of a dying breed, a novelist that doesn't use a computer. I keep having the same dream. I'm a child again, in an empty house, filled with fear and horror. This fear of dying without ever having truly lived. Lord have mercy. You a pleasant sight to wake up to. No, I can't help you. Try next door. Sold out. I'll get you up. Give me a minute. I'm really glad you had these. Yeah, it's my friend's car. Freezing? Grew up in upstate New York. So is naked laundry this new thing in New York or something? <laughs> no, uh, I don't have many clothes, and I've actually been thinking about going home if I can't find a reason to stick around. Aimless wanderer? I like wandering aimlessly. Turn on? <laughs> it's a little presumptuous. Oh, I mean, can you turn the car on, please? Oh, sorry. Make sure you leave it running for at least 20 minutes, OK? Yeah, thank you. It's really not necessary. No, I insist, for your time. 
I was just watching my clothes dry. Not true. I interrupted some very heavy reading. About $20 worth. Well, let me get you a coffee then. How about you give me your phone number? Well, I'd love to, but I don't know you and you seem broke. I'd have to say the giving tree. Yours? Mm, maybe the Velveteen Rabbit? What's your favorite book growing up? I don't know. Why? Just wondering, I guess. Well, um, I'd have to say the giving tree. Yours? Mm. Maybe the Velveteen Rabbit? <laughs> you and I are the characters from our favorite childhood books. Yeah? Yeah, you're a self-sacrificing tree. <laughs> And you're a stuffed rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> we should write our own children books. Yeah? What do we call it? I love you so much, it makes me sick. Eve, I don't know how to tell you this. You're Your father died last night. Wait, what? He just called me. Richard was a man of great faith. A true pioneer whose life touched each and every one of us, individually. Lord, our Father, Show yourselves to us today and relieve the sadness from this grieving family. In your name, amen. Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff. Adam, I'm so? Uh, no, thank you. Are you sure it's fresh from our garden? Adam doesn't eat plants. He's actually a very talented gardener himself. Is that so? What kinds of things do you grow? Oh, I don't do the growing. Um, I just help them along their journey. Adam used to work in a nursery. He specializes in hydroponics. Oh, uh, are you a pot grower? <laughs> I read about rapid plant death of soil-based plants in, in hydroculture. <laughs> No, He's I'm a painter. Uh, use a system that actually uses 90% less water. I mean, there's a meaningful water shortage around the world. I know my brother never knew what to do with Eve. It's affected her relationships with men. Patty, please. What? I just want to understand what We're his intentions enjoying are. Enjoying our dinner. Come on. You're a lot like your father, though, you know it? How so? Oh. Richard had a good heart, but he only did what was good for him. What does that mean? Your whole life has been a show of autonomy. If a situation didn't suit you, you ignored it. 
Your father tried reaching out to you. You're the one who decided never to speak to him again. I have no regrets. Yeah, see? That's just it. You know, you never admit you're wrong. And now you're never going to be able to tell him how you feel. Trisha, come on. Just marry the man. Everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Everything all right with you? Hey. To Richard. May he rest in peace. Mm, that's good. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry about before. I'm not handling this very well. What is it with you and the stray cats always? Don't judge him. He's not what you think. He's different. Use your brain. That's all I'm asking. Oh. You know, I was thinking about back in the day when your dad had the record label. You know, he took me to the Fillmore for my first time to see Cream. <laughs> We both know that he had trouble relating to you after your mom left. Deep down, he knew it too, but you know, he made his peace with it so he could live his life. It's not an excuse. But at some point, you realize forgiveness is necessary for survival. What does that even mean? <sighs> I'm just saying, I spent a lot of my life staying angry at people for my own selfish but valid reasons, but staying mad at a dead person is only going to make your life miserable, especially if that person is your father. He didn't leave me anything, did he? No. You made your intentions clear, so he changed as well. Doesn't mean he didn't love you. Digestion? Uh, stomach issues brought on by stress and soul sucking jobs my whole life. Where did you work before? Native plant nursery in Van Nuys. I got fired two weeks ago because I implemented a hydroponic growing system. Apparently, this cut into the profit margins of the business. So, you decided to take your initiative based work skills to a different part of the valley, hoping to run into me again? I found cheap rent nearby and someone who didn't mind me practicing my passion. I'm a painter. Hmm. I'm a writer. Two struggling artists. What do you write? Short stories, um, poetry, working on ideas for my first novel. Can I have a pack of reds too? Yeah. You gonna set my money this time? <laughs> I don't know. You gonna give me your number this time? Unless you have a guy, or... Of course you have a guy. Who am I kidding? No, yeah, mm, technically no. I'm just not looking for anything serious right now. No, I respect that. Hey. Yeah? Never mind. Slash tenant, Adam. And do not mind the mess because he is the definition of magnificent unusualness. Huh. Hmm. Small world. Or are we just experiencing a dubious case of synchronicity? Did you know each other or? We've met once or twice. Well, Adam, we're gonna have to call it a night, man. One.
Let me show you around. someone who will let them talk who will let us work it out in real time out loud is that the piece you've been working on yeah as a matter of fact it is you're talented it's it's a little freaky it's all but it's a long ago knockoff Get out of here with me. Where are we going? My father's apple orchard in San Luis Obispo. He left it to me. For how long? A month or two. Or 12. I don't, I don't know. You know, it seems... Look, I need this. I can't be alone. What are we gonna do about money? We will figure it out. Okay, you can work on your artwork full time, like you've always wanted, and I can write. No schedules, no deadlines, no drama, no responsibility. I have to make it through this year before it kills me. I don't know. I mean, I miss my family. Sorrow found me. Sorrow found me again. I ran and hid. The trouble hunts me. It's how loneliness cannot be. Oh, you really dig the homeless vibe, don't you? <sighs> My uh, living arrangements are...
kind of in flux at the moment. Well, did you move? Because of me? Jen, this is Adam. Adam, this is Jen. Adam's gonna be crashing with us for a while, if that's cool. Hi. Of course. So you're the boy she's predestined to be with, huh? I guess that's the case. Jen's my roommate and my therapist. Careful of falling into the relationship template of your biblical counterparts. Oh, Jen, don't be ridiculous. The power of the unconscious mind would surprise you. Can I help with anything? I thought you said you liked brown rice. This is going to be magical. Yes, it is. Huh. God created light and looked down onto all the matter and created his paradise from the rubble. What kind of interpretation is that? Mine. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna have to call the power company. No, it's gonna cost us. Uh, I can get a generator and set it up. I have to do something about the water, too. Mm. The best part of that is that you go with your hands. First time I had sex, I tried to play it cool, but I cried. It was just the first time I was out on my own. I've made interesting choices when it comes to guys. I mean, I can sleep with them even if I don't really like them. To me, it's just sex. I think it might have scared her off a little. It's sad to think that I'll never see her again. Makes me feel feminine. Powerful. What was her name? Alexandra. Does that make you feel uncomfortable? Why? I don't know. Most guys can't get the visuals out of their head. It's really pretty. Well, I want to know the woman that I love. You don't have to say it just because I did. God, you have a weird thing for that fucking fat tie. <laughs> no, I have a weird thing for that peanut sauce. <laughs> Tron. Uh, I was just thinking about my brother. 
I'll never get his face out of my head. I told him he couldn't come with me. I don't want to be like my mom. Why not? My dad said that she was young, but I think she just had a hard time existing for anyone. But I don't want to talk about it. Well, that's one way to live your life. Not getting anyone a chance to get to know you. Mine lives on a collective in upstate New York. My baby brother. A collective? Do you mean like a... Commune, yeah. Are you close? I doubt she thinks so, considering I ran away. So let me get this straight. You ran away from a commune. Yeah. <clears throat> When I was 18, they tried to implement these workshops to get people to stick around. I got out of there as soon as I could. Weren't you petrified? I don't know if I knew enough about the world to be scared. I'd never been to school or anything like that. I lived in a homeless shelter for three months trying to track my dad down in New York. He split when I was like 10 or so. When I finally found him, he told me to go someplace warm and start over. Give me his copy of Emerson. I guess that Ralph Waldo Emerson was the only thing my parents could ever agree on. insecure and tell you exactly what scares me. I'm afraid you're going to end up hating me. And I'm going to lose you as my best friend, and it makes me ill. And you're so good. And you're sweet. And what if the timing of all this ends up destroying us and hurting you? I don't think that's going to happen. That's because you have a really bad emotional radar. You're not like me. You know what? Hold that thought. Thursday. I want to put these days behind me. These feelings of death. Why must we live if we die? Why is he so quiet? Does he think? Does he feel as I do? I don't understand what concerns his time. But his perceptions are astute. If only I knew more. Help him refine them. Maybe then I'll know the key to his heart. And he'll embrace the joy of companionship. I don't want to fuck this up. Fuck what up? I don't want to be responsible for anyone else's happiness right now. The honeymoon always ends. It does in every relationship. If that's where we're at, then it's up to us to decide where we go from here. And I don't want it to. 
I just don't want you to have any expectations. Expectation is the root of all heartbreak. Maybe we can just tell each other everything. Is there any other way? You don't know how crazy I am. I'm crazy enough to invite a strange boy to live with you at an apple orchard. You can never ask me to marry you. Hell. Could you not have kept the conversation going a little longer? Those people oh, were... I was only trying to make friends for us to go out with. Friends? The bloke tried to show me his truck nuts. Obviously, my favorite thing in life. <laughs> Trump. Yeah, well, you ain't up for it then, eh? He was only trying to have a little chin wag. And I'm only trying to leave well alone. <laughs> I think Scrooge here needs some more libations. Hang about. I need to go see a man about a dog in the loop. I know you. All right, cowboy. No, no, no. You're the girl from Seattle Road. You're the guy who tried to put me pad up for sale. What are you drinking? Whiskey. Neat. Two whiskeys. Neat. What kind? Finest you got. I am Bradley by the way, but my friends call me Lee. Well, Bradley, I'll call you Cowboy. And I'd love to stay in chat, but I'm with me mate over there. Oh, um, where did you find Jesus Christ Superstar, anyway? Maybe I'm an apostle. Right, right. Well, listen, if you two ever run into any trouble, maybe you could uh, leave me your number. <laughs> give you a call. <laughs> That's forward. Well, I'm a man of action. Mm. Only because you remind me of young Brad Pitt in that hat. Mm. Maybe another time, eh? Oh, come on! Mm. That'll be 15. deal with 1940 Seattle Road. But what are we going to do if you don't sell any pieces? The book isn't even close to done and we're broke. I'm stuck. Forces are at work that we cannot touch or see or even comprehend, but as time marches on, they reveal themselves to us in the most faithful of ways. Okay, Deepak Chopra. It's... Uh, I got you a job. Where? A local art gallery. Well, what are you going to do? Writing is working.
the orchids take less frequent care. I know you forget to water sometimes, so the orchids take less frequent care. Is that what I think it is? It's better. It's Moldavite crystal, not some cheap imitation quartz. Happy Mother's Day to the best future mother in the world. In ancient times, people used to use it as psychic protection. I adore it. Negative entities find it difficult to connect to your aura when you wear it. My own key, yeah. Can you trust me? Why not? It's easier that way. Create that which has not been before. Otherwise, there's no point. No point to my life. I don't think I love you anymore. And it's nothing that you did. I'm just, I'm not sure about us. And things change. This conversation again? Yep. This conversation again. Um, I really, really love this one. Is this is this by a local artist? You know, uh, um, yeah, this is actually a pretty interesting artist. She's these paintings here are done with uh, gouache. Gauche? Uh, gauche, of course. Um, she's really cool. She actually grew up in North Carolina, one of ten kids. Yes, yes, we read that right there. Yeah, if you could check for me, that would be awesome because I really want to know. I'm trying to keep it all local, if you know what I mean. You yeah, know? yeah, sure. Um, no, I get it. Uh, oh, it's 10,000. But you know what? I'm not actually sure. So my boss is coming back in just a few minutes. If you want to wait for her, she'll be able to tell you more about it. You hungry? Hello? So what's your problem? What? Talk to me. Nothing. Nothing's on your mind? <sighs> Fuck, man. <sighs> yeah, okay. I have something on my mind, but I don't have to tell you every thought that comes through my head. Jesus. So you're trying to talk. All we do is talk. Can you just shut up every once in a while? Hey, forget I asked.
What's my problem? That I'm young. I'm lost. And I'm punishing myself for everything that I haven't done. And sometimes, honestly, I just want to be left alone. This relationship is, it's affecting you and me, and most importantly, my work. I'm only trying to cheer you up. I don't want to be cheered up. job with the generator. I told you I was gonna fuck things up. So don't go and trying to make me feel guilty. You do this for me? You I want to be on your team. I don't deserve this. Right. Accept the generosity of strangers. Is this him? He used to tell me stories about his heyday in Frisco. Mm -hmm. A real rebel without a cause. And Patty was right. You do take after him. He changed after his friends started ODing and killing themselves. I always believe that he might have been an artist himself if he hadn't seen death firsthand. Why is that? I once asked him why he and my mom decided to have kids when, when they hated each other so much. What did he say? He thought that the shared love they'd have for a baby would bring them closer together. I knew what he meant. She never wanted to have me. After I was born, she landed a modeling contract that took her to Paris and left my care to my dad and his random girlfriends. And six months later, she was married to this, oh, this photographer and living in New York. It was like she forgot having a kid was permanent, not just some trendy accessory. What was her name? I disagree with everything my parents stand for. It makes sense now. <laughs> we both had something to escape from. That's why we found each other. What's this?
Adam, yeah. I just got off the phone with Maddie Pearl in Santa Barbara. Please tell me you've sent that express package. Come in. What's up? I don't think this is working out the way I thought. Uh, no, I, I, there it is. I'm a fuck up, and it just makes me feel bad and all. You know, I, I know I'm not paying you a lot, but I would really love it if you could follow through on the mundane tasks when I ask. <sighs> it's not your fault. You're not cut out for the 10 to 6 grind. Well, if Eve asks, can you just tell her that and you couldn't afford to keep me on or something? Sure. I appreciate it. I, I know how hard she worked to get me this job. I'm sorry. Adam. Yeah. Eve really believes in you, even if you don't. <sighs> Thanks. Maybe it's better to accept your alone. Deja vu. You're kidding me. Lou Barlow? Huh? Uh, my dad signed him to his record label when I was a kid. Shut up. I swear to God. Oh, my God. We used to listen to his songs of doomed love and fractured self-worth. In a way, it prepared me for everything. Even us. Hi, Eve. Can you hold for John, please? 
Okay. Thanks. Well, what are you trying to say? That technology has created a throwaway culture where every day is a prison of monotony. Everything in your life, every emotion from lust to anger, from sadness to joy, has been felt by every other person who's lived. That, that, that this is the tissue of things. Those are feelings. Well, yeah. Well, start from there. Paint from your feelings. You don't understand what I'm going for. You're right. I don't understand this bitterness you've been harboring towards me. You know, ever since your book... Is that what this is about? You know what? Please tell me, what is so original about your voice? Art is the process of working through feelings we never knew we had. You don't work through anything, Adam. You took my story it's and made fiction. it your own. I drew inspiration from both of our lives. Why can't you be happy for me? Right, you know what? Fuck you. I'm scared. I'm scared of ridicule. Of being original. I I feel like I've been trying to... I don't know. Maybe I'm expecting too much. This is so embarrassing. Is it weird if I told you that it's good to see you feel pain? You're so unemotional sometimes. Almost like you're a robot. love with him? Some days I am. He love you? Sometimes I think he loves me more than I love him. Duh. And what's that supposed to mean? Look, I think it's great you had someone to get you through this time, but you're better than him. Do you really think this is the guy you're gonna end up with? I've been with Ellen for the 25 years of my life that have really mattered. You know, we're, we're, we're a lot alike. We have so much in common. We're, we're from the same background. It's important. Squatters living on your brother's old orchard? We don't want to live in that dump. Hey, stop! What are you doing? Apparently, 
Oliver sent over a real estate company to put up a sign, and, and this couple convinced him that they own the place. <laughs> you take down this sign, I'm fixing to call the law, pretty boy. Now, Patty, does Jim still own his gallery in Ashbury? Oh, hey, if I were you, I'd get out of town, leave the girl alone before you step in some shit. You won't be getting off your boots. He does, and he just opened another one at uh, Union Square. I have some photos of Adam's work. Do you think we could talk to him about getting him a show? <sighs> I don't know, Eve. Jimmy's pretty big time. And? I guess. So, what exactly do you want from me? Well, we, we were hoping... No, I want her to tell me. Either it speaks to you or it doesn't. I'm not asking for favors. I hear you're a uh, published author. New York Times best-selling author. It was only for one week, but yeah. Anything worth reading? It's about a girl who runs away from a commune she was raised on and her ensuing struggles with the meaning of existence while she tries to settle into her new life. Yeah. You'll have to send me a copy. You can download it on iTunes. <laughs> Apple doesn't fall far from the tree, does it? She's one of us for sure. Mm -hmm. Jim, I know you know art, but I have to know. What do you think of the paintings? <laughs> Quite the negotiator, aren't you? Just like her dad. You know, I took this meeting because I loved your father. And your Aunt Patty was family even when I had it. But? But I just don't do favors for struggling artists. I... Well, I understand. Which is why I am not doing it as a favor. You know, I, I don't know if he's fully realized yet, but it's it's not bad. So let, let's let me meet him, and, and, and we'll see what we have. And I'm going to need more than camera pictures next time. It's perfect. He's working on a series as we speak. Mm.
Hello? Adam? Are you here? What your problem? I slept with someone. Coming. Hey, where's your girlfriend? You guys are always together. She's dead. Oh. Okay. So you're mourning. You know, love can be inconvenient. You know what I mean? Well, depends on how you look at it. Everything depends on how you look at it. Hey, you said it, man. What time do you get off? Late. Well, I've got all the time in the world. Let's make mistakes. Okay. Let's find God, whoever the fuck he or she is. <laughs> Next one's on me, Trish. Look who it is. John Wayne. <laughs> Told you. Trouble will find you. Well, what is saying you are deep inside? No, no, no. No, I'm the guy who's deep inside your girl. Someday. 
once again Monday morning. Excuse me? I'm the guy who's fucking Eve. She told me how you were this sad, broken waist, how you couldn't even get it up enough to fuck her sweet, sweet pussy. Hey. How does that feel? How does that feel? I don't feel anything. Fucking artsy faggot. Oh! What are you gonna do? Do something, motherfucker! Scotty? No, no, Scotty, it's me. Hey, baby bro, how's it going? Yeah? Yeah? Uh, no, I mean, um, I mean, San Luis Obispo. <laughs> no, it's Obispo, it, it's in, it's in California. What, no, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine, I just, I miss you, that's all. Yeah. How's mom? Oh, that's good. It's good to talk to you, man. I missed you. Actually, man, I gotta go. Um, it was good to talk to you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. To me, it's just sex. I mean, I can sleep with them, even if I don't really like them. And it's nothing that you did. I'm just, I'm not sure about us. There is no happiness in love. Love is unhappiness. This relationship is, it's affecting you. you care. I don't understand why you didn't just tell me. I wanted to feel like you gave me something. I mean, we could have worked something out, right, Alan? I mean... Absolutely, of course. You lied the whole time. I'm sorry. I mean, do you know how that feels? When you lose a parent, you feel like you're standing beside his ghost. It sits over my shoulder talking to me. I just thought that coming here would help me hear him more clearly. I'm sorry. I didn't have faith in you. Or in me. Look, I want to make it up to you. All of you. So let me buy the orchard. Adam and I can, you would help me restore it, right? Honey, you don't have that kind of money. Well, could help with the mortgage, but I'm warning you guys right now, it's gonna be a hell of a lot of work. Well, I don't know. <laughs>
going to take the two of you. Eggs are getting cold. to be human, to be me with all the scars. And maybe it's been this way since the dawn of time. Loving worlds different than our own. Where we find the grace of patience and confidence of perspective. But hey, who knows? It's only what I think. <laughs> 